Hello everyone, this is just a quick unscripted video to show you something I'm working on to help in the COVID response, in particular for helping to quickly assess the throughput at a testing site for uh, coronavirus or COVID-19. Um, but first, I just wanted to mention that the coronavirus solution from Esri has been released. And if you're working in ArcGIS, you might wanna consider using this as a starting point for some of your data collection. Uh, it's quite a robust solution but it includes a, a case reporter survey um, for reporting COVID-19 cases at a certain level of geography, which I think is really important. And it also has uh, some really simple tools for doing things like mapping out uh, testing sites, which I've found uh, most GISers don't have a database or an incident data model for that. And Esri is providing that here for you to do. And uh, it only takes about two minutes to deploy this tool. Obviously there's lots of configuration to do after that and building a game plan with your team. But uh, I'd suggest using this instead of starting from scratch. But in some of those conversations and in helping agencies set this up, uh, some people have asked for uh, more detailed workflows like uh, they wanna be able to map cases down to a smaller level geography or even at the point level, uh, perhaps through calls coming in through their dispatch. Uh, but a much simpler use case that came up was uh, if we have testing sites and we want to be able to quickly uh, estimate the number of people coming through or give elders an idea of uh, the throughput, as it's called, then uh, we can use something like a quick capture for ArcGIS. So I'm going to show you the general steps I use to set this up. I'll leave you with a... Uh, a template that you can use to get started and then um, hopefully just point you to some documentation so you can do the rest. But uh, the first step for setting this up was to quickly adjust, create a new feature layer, which you can do right from content in ArcGIS Online and create a feature layer. And I built my own layer because I didn't have any data model for this, but rather than open up ArcGIS Pro, I just uh, selected point and I went through and uh, built my uh, data model and I'll just show you what that looks like. I won't show all the steps today, uh, but basically really simple, just set up uh, a couple of fields here. Of course, creation date, edit date, that all comes through when you build uh, a new feature layer. But I basically just have an integer field here for a number of people, a location ID, uh, which would be a unique identifier, a location name, and uh, I put in some comments fields here for people who might be QA, QCing the data. And then really important is I just put one uh, field in here to designate if it's a group that I'm counting or an individual. And you'll see how that plays out in quick capture here in a minute. Uh, once you publish your feature layer and you're happy with it, uh, you could go in and just give it a couple of simple uh, symbols. Here, I just wanted to symbolize by whether or not the count was a group or an individual. I actually used some of the damage assessment symbols from uh, the Esri Public Safety symbols here. If you just go down to Public Safety, you'll see there's an I and a G symbol in here. But in any case, uh, I've already built this data model, so I have no problem sharing it. Uh, you basically just copy this URL and when you go to content, you can simply uh, go ahead and create feature layer and uh, do it from a URL. So that's how you can actually spawn this off yourself. I'll put the feature layer URL in the comments for this video. All right, but uh, that may already be familiar workflow to you. Uh, what I wanted to show you if you haven't used Quick Capture before is uh, when you create a new project, you can search for your layer that you made. Whoops. This one here. And when you create this, it's gonna create a project. And because I already gave my layer some symbology, it gives me these options here. So I'm not gonna go through all the steps I took to get here. I'm just gonna show you the finished product because there are uh, good videos on Quick Capture. Um, this is the way uh, I set this one up, and this is something you'll have to do yourself. So individuals, I set so that when the data comes in, uh, it defaults to one, so that if I'm counting one individual coming in, it always adds a one to the field. 
the other thing I did was uh, on groups, I set it so that number of people was a button user input so that you can actually enter in the number of people in that group. So I wasn't sure that what the scenario would be like in the testing group, but if a car rolled up with one individual or people were walking in one by one, I could just tap individual and that will count. But if I had a group of four, I could just put group and four, and this might help you to estimate group sizes uh, later on. So um, one other thing that I learned uh, is, you know, it's good to use project user inputs. You should read about this, but I made it so that when you enter the project, you always get a uh, location prompt uh, so that all the points you add go to a certain location. So uh, then, of course, you want to build your web map. Plenty of tutorials on how to build ArcGIS online web maps. Uh, but basically, I add the layer to the web map, and then I made a uh, simple dashboard. And the uh, dashboard just counts uh, right now based off of my extent in, uh, in my field of view, but I can also filter by different uh, testing sites as well. I'm going to pause here. All right, and I just wanted to demonstrate what the Quick Capture project looks like. Uh, again, from Quick Capture, you can share it a few different ways. Uh, I don't have ArcGIS Hub Premium, so I can't really crowdsource this project, but uh, basically you have to use a username for this. But uh, I can either send someone this link or open up the QR code, uh, scan it with my camera here. I already have Quick Capture installed. And so I'll just click open and uh, I already had this project running. Let me just show you what it looks like when you uh, start it. Made some updates here. Okay, so the first thing it's gonna ask me is location ID. I don't actually have a lookup for this. I'm just gonna enter in a, a test, but this would be something you designate with your, uh, with your team. And basically as individuals walk in, I'm just taking my finger and tapping individual, tapping individual. That would add a count of one, or if I get a large group, I could go ahead and say, you know, this is a group of four people, or this is a group of two people. I don't have my phone set up to do uh, auto send, uh, although I think it'll send in about 30 seconds, but I can also just click send, and that will uh, update my dashboard here. And so um, you can just basically, in real time, you'd be getting throughput of the number of people at testing sites. And presumably, if you knew your testing site capacity, uh, this would help you kind of forecast or triage your scenario there. So you can see here, super easy for the end user. They don't have to even know they're using uh, GIS. Probably lots of data management considerations on the line, like filtering by date or filtering by site and how you want to deal with the data. But I uh, thought this is a really quick way to build a counter app that... Uh, could help with situational awareness when it comes to rolling out testing site facilities. So anyway, hope this is helpful. This is something uh, most GIS professionals who've used ArcGIS online, this wouldn't take, take you long to figure out and can make a real big difference in your community. So thanks a lot.